Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily and I have lived in Thailand for the last 10 years with my husband Wat, who is Thai and our three children. We have recently reopened our restaurant on the island of Koh Samui, Thailand. And in today's video, I wanna show you what it's like to own a business on an island in Thailand. Hi, Chuck. Mm. Luke, that's a good soda water. Thanks. Do you like that hummus? Ah. Would you recommend that? Ah. Come in and try the hummus. It's Leon's favorite. What? Ah. Ah. I had an idea about doing a week in my life as a restaurant owner in Thailand. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to the very beginning. I love you. Good job. Look, pick your papers up. Please don't feed not around tired. the bush. I don't want to push, but you're making me hard. Oh. I know something's going on. There's dishes in the sink. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you dance? Can you freeze? Are you ready? I'm tired today. We're all tired. We're just tired. It's hard work, right? Life. <laughs> Life well, is hard work. Opening the restaurant's been hard work, but. I have a comment about the restaurant, how blessed we are to be able to go into the restaurant, bring the kids, they have a room to play in, staff to help, because sometimes we all help. Even me, I don't even work there, and I get up and help the customers, and I did that with my kids, and I have a whole room in my store in Idaho for children to play in because we're a family business. The best part of having the restaurant is open is getting to meet you guys. That really makes our day. Leon loves it. Leon loves it. You like to meet the people no. at the restaurant? Yeah. yeah. We meet so many interesting, nice people and also like-minded people, which is really cool to meet people who are like-minded. And we actually are having... Hi, guys. What do you say about this restaurant? Luke really loves the restaurant because he likes to give people the menu when they sit down. Yep. Some people say little kids shouldn't be at the restaurant. What do you say about that? <laughs> We're using the restaurant to, as a way to connect with our fans and the people who have supported us on our YouTube journey because, you know, it's really hard to make money at a restaurant in Thailand. You just, there's a lot of competition. There's not many tourists all year round. There's, there's a lot of tourists in the high season, but not in the low season. But you know what really makes us our income is this YouTube channel. So I just want to say how much I appreciate you all and I love you and I'm so grateful to have you. Say love 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 you. Real quick, I'd like to say a big thank you to Surfshark. I've been using Surfshark for two years now. They are a virtual private network company, VPN. And it works by encrypting all of the information sent between your computer 
and the internet so no one can steal your sensitive information. That means if you are logged into a public Wi-Fi network, say a restaurant or an airport, if someone else is logged into that network to steal your data, a hacker, your information will be protected. But the other great part of using a VPN is that you can change your virtual location. I always use it when I watch Netflix. I like to log into a location in Europe when I wanna watch a good documentary. When Luke watches Netflix, he always logs into a US location so we can have the best US cartoons and funny movies like Pee Wee Herman. Hairball. Hey man. Yeah, and that was Star a little Wars. weird. Don't and watch Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, watch it, watch it, watch. It. Surfshark is one of the best VPNs on the market because it is easy and streamlined to use, and you can use unlimited devices for one account. So you can use my code Lily's Life, and you will get 83% off. Plus, the first three months are free, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there is no risk in trying it out. Just click the link in the description box below that will bless my family and it will bless you too. Thank you. Back to the program. Peace out. Pichai con Mimi. Tamnyan Wani. My Tamnyan Wani. Number seven. I'm sad. Well, I thought we had a new staff member coming today, but apparently not. Oh but it, has, it was busy last week. Today, yesterday wasn't so busy. Every day is different. Obviously, every day is different. But in Thailand, it's like really different. Like in America, I would say in Europe, whatever, in the West, like you would have the lunch crowd and then you have the div evening crowd. Here, like we get a trickle of business all day long or not. And you never know what days are going to be busy or slow. Like there's no real weekend. It's so funny in Bangkok, you definitely have big lunch crowd yeah and then you have dinner here it's more people, people on vacation, vacation they and they're linger in but they do come for breakfast. dinner breakfast you look nice a little bit of makeup does a girl a world of good <laughs> look at those dimples wow a person came up to me the other day and they go you're so pretty those real they asked me if my dimples were real i'm thinking yeah they're real <laughs> i don't know how else you'd get them nam do you like having the restaurant open yeah why you're not tired? Never <laughs> Let me show you. Let me show you what Nam does. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, ready, Lily? This is Nam at the restaurant when she goes in. She... Yeah! <laughs> She's in charge. Her strength comes out in that restaurant. For some years she took care Nam's of Nam's the manager. <laughs> Can you guys do me a quick favor and click that thumbs up button? And do you know 68% of you are not subscribed? So come on, make the commitment, click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hi, Mimi. You guys know it's hot in Thailand. So we have our little sitting area back here. But through here, we have the kids' playroom. Yeah. We could just shut this door so nobody he hears the children. How you doing? Is it all Thai food? How are you doing, Chalk? <laughs> At least Chalk's a happy person. Yeah, she only what and just do the page. She just can't help me, can't do anything. I have to do anything. Chalk did. Good job, Chalk. Oh, Chalk's so Yeah, and I see some two people in, I can immediately tell if they're FCs or not. Because they don't Because the FCs, yeah, they are just like in their own world. The FCs are always looking, oh, can I see? Luke, when you grow up, do you want to have a restaurant? 
Yes. You want to own your own restaurant? Run a restaurant? Yeah. You like this business? And I'm hiring you. When you're what? I'm going to hire you and have four hours restaurant. Oh, you're going to hire me? Well, guess what? It's expensive. That's no. expensive. No. <laughs> what are you going to hire me to do? I'm going to hire you to get the trash out of my house. <laughs> Hi. Leon, are you eating ice cream? Yeah. No. No? Huh? Yes? Uh-oh. <laughs> Look, you can't eat that much ice cream. Yeah, I do. Leon, you can't eat that much ice cream. Oh, my goodness. Give me, give me Leon. <laughs> give me, Leon. See my finger? See my thumb? See my fist? You better run. You better run! Yeah. You better run! You better run! I'm wearing gym clothes because I went to the gym today with Ricardo at Classic Gym. You should go see him if you're on the island and you want to work out because he's a great trainer. I should have I should have recorded my workout, but I got really lazy because it's freaking hot. Luke, Ricardo killed me today. I already know. Luke, usually Luke comes with me, right? And you're my the and you're, Luke's the water boy, right? Yeah. It's so hot, all we can do is eat ice cream. Right? Mm -hmm. Are we going to have an ice cream day? Yeah. Yeah. Cream. Mom, what? do you want something to eat? In a bit. What should we have? I don't know, but I want something. Oh, I know what I want. I want a soft crab. A soft shell? We should have the soft shell Not crab. Right I say soft shell crab. Mom says soft crab because I think that's the Maryland side of her coming out. I think in New Orleans we said soft shell crab. We never said soft crab. Have you guys ever had a soft shell crab? Do you like them? Because we love them. You could eat the whole crab. Well, I think Maryland says soft shell. I don't know why I said soft crab. It sounds soft to me Maryland. Yeah. Lila's getting into trouble. Yeah. What? Everybody says we need to wear gloves and hair nets. <laughs> That's funny. You know what? When you open a business, everybody and their mother loves to tell you what to do mm -hmm. and give you advice. And I appreciate listen. your yeah. advice. I There's do. Some, a lot of good advice on here. Some is not practical. The best yeah. advice that I got was a lady told me that the secret to good hummus is to put a little ice, ice in the cube. blender. That's a good, that's that is something that? I can work with. Yeah, we can do that. Well, look at this big family. I thought I had a big family. Oh! Tell them to come in. See, this is why we have our kids working. <laughs> They're not working. The kids are not working. And let me tell you, there was a many a time when Mom brought me for her catering gigs. Oh and my goodness! I had Lily. I had to go back to work in, on the day four after my birth, or day five, very quickly. I just brought her with me when I was three five, days old. Three days old. Four yep. Days old. I had a big wedding to cater in Washington D.C. and I just. Anyway, the reason why we're here is that we want to meet our customers and our fans, and we're doing it for the tube. We have a lot of people YouTube. asking, when are you going to be there so we can meet you? It's already a falafel day. I can't even believe it. Look at all this falafel. We go through so much falafel. I don't even know how. Kaidi, right now? Kaidi, yeah. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, Mimi, is sure my cat? <laughs> oh, is that from a, something to help? Oh, that's so nice. Something to help the old ladies in one of your YouTube clips. Well, do you see somebody brought money for the ladies? We're going to go give it to them. I don't know how much it is. But... Wait, 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 wait. Wow, that's so Three nice. Thousand. She's gonna be so happy. Eight. Who is it? I think it's an FC. I don't know. Oh, you don't even have any shoes on. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom's never seen my car these ladies before. The it's hot. It's hot? Yeah. Leanne's a smart boy. He knows it's hot. Are they sleeping? It's so hot right now. These little ladies are laying in this bed. This is Thailand. They don't have anything. It's like so incredibly hot. You can't imagine. Everybody, Micah. 
คุณร้อนไหมคะ Look she's strong because he's heavy เพราะว่าฉันทำ YouTube ไปขอบคุณค่ะขอบคุณคิดช่วยคุณได้ค่ะขอบคุณค่ะลูก when I get older you're gonna take care of me no he's gonna take care of me right yeah because I'm gonna get old first มีมีร้อนไหมคะร้อนมากเอ่อ delivery ทีวัดทีรวัดเล็กน้อยทีรวัดเล็กน้อยลูพี่โอ้ this is how we do it honey do you want to drink that Liam wants to get in Liam wants to get in Oh, Wait, you want to get in? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's in the mailbox. I saw the point and a rubber band. Let's go see what these kids are doing. I'm playing fast. Do you guys know what lilikoi means? It means passion fruit in Hawaiian language. It smells like basil and cilantro back here. What does it smell like, Luke? It smells like leaves. It smells like good leaves. Good leaves? Now, can you smell it? Yeah. Chick ching. Chick ching. What's Bob cooking? Is this the penang curry? You love it too, huh? You're doing this for yourself? Yeah. Chicken and shrimp and egg curry. When you do Thai food, you first add the meat, and then you add the vegetables because you want to cook the meat first, and you want the vegetables to be more crunchy. What's everybody doing? Hanging out. Nam tamadai. Tamahan pama. Tamahan pama pet mai. Pet ma. Pet ma. Ken sheng yin dai mai. Ken mi dai. Ken mi dai. Sai balang mai. Sai kapi. Kapi. The one thing that Nam said that she missed about having the restaurant before that she would tell me it was she missed having friends. So now she has friends, and we're really it's really low season now, so the work is not that hard. But we are looking to find somebody else, obviously, and she's not going to be in here every day. She can just come in when she wants to come in. Mom, what did you get? Fried soft shell crabs? Fried crab? soft shell crabs with the Obey mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. Obey. I get a funky monkey. I've come to Macro for the light, 10 years. The light just turned off. And I've never seen that happen. Yeah, I just like. Zip, Everybody zip, got so zip, quiet. Zip, zip, zip. Yeah. Were you scared? Yeah. Leon, were you scared? 
I'm just like, the are you scared? I'm like, just like, turning dark and I got scared. What, has that ever happened? What? The electric went out while you were here? No. Yeah. You never see that. I got so quiet in here, right? First time. First time. Give me what you Say, go, go. What are we doing? Doing drawing class. Drawing class with the boys. Oh my gosh, I look so tired. We were at the Where restaurant. We were at the yeah. restaurant and we decided to leave early because Liam needs to take a nap. Lila was already taking a nap, so we didn't we didn't want to disturb her from that nap. <laughs> you look nice tonight. It's the light. The lighting in here is the really nice. Really good. Right? I love this. This is a new dress coming. Look at this beautiful dress. I love, I love this fabric. Color. This color it's is so summer, pretty. And it's not too hot. Yeah. It could be short sleeve, but it's not. Stand up, Mom. Well, look at how chic she looks. I really like this. I'm only five foot two, and I'm a small comedian, so I like it because it's pretty. Plus, I like color in the summer. I'm tired of black, gray, and brown. I like color. So go to Shop Grace and Joy and use my code Lily20 and get 20% off. Mommy, mom. Shoot. Oh, look what Liam did. It looks like a butterfly. And the deer in the, in the bear. Nice. Mommy, mom. Mommy, mom. Leon's trying to look at the camera. You're a good boy, Leon. I don't know. Leon's talking Actually, so I'm much, you guys. You say, see my fingers, see, see my, my fingers, see my fingers, see my fuzzy butter up. Hi. Hey, Liam, what are you doing? Yeah! Mom likes to take five showers a day. Well, it's really hot. And as soon as I get in from whatever we're doing, I'm dripping in, you know, sweat. And I hate to sweat, and I don't like to be hot. So I just take a quick shower every three hours. But the problem is, we what? don't have an underground well, and we're they constantly running out of water. We're gonna try to buy another water tank, and maybe one day in the future build an underground well if we can. So I told mom she's, <laughs> She's reached her water quota. I'm gonna still take a shower. I'll give you the you water. Keep, water. So I didn't say anything about it actually, but you kept saying, That's really? You know, I, I take a very quick shower. Well, I turn it on. I, I never said off. anything, did I? I know, and I just feel bad, but I'm really hot. Hi, please. This is my mom, and I'm I'm right now the creme, man. See? I'm creme. Oh. 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 Leah, you wanna be the cameraman? Yes. Okay, you talk to them. I'm in the crime of man. Mom's new haircut. She looks like a schoolgirl. Let's <laughs> go. Look, my little Liam. Happy life. Yeah, that well, looks like it. We're at my favorite morning coffee shop on Maynard. Actually, it's my favorite on Maynard. They have such good coffee. It's called About Cafe. It's right down the street from the restaurant. You look so good. 
Doesn't she look good? You're too hard on yourself, mom. I feel like old and tired this is right down the street from the restaurant and really good coffee and good pancakes and good brown bread delicious coffee honestly really good coffee it's very small so you got to come early for a table Leon and Luke are playing so good I've been trying to spend a lot of time with Leon and we take Leon and Luke out to do something just the two of them every day because it's just too much for them to be at the restaurant all day Bread, please. Okay. Bread, please. Yes. Please. 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 Bloody cup. Please. Please. Say cup to cup. Cup. Right across the street from the Bount Cafe is a hairstylist. <laughs> so I came here to get my hair washed and blow dried. Hair dried. Who wants to get their hair cut? Me! So Luke wants Me. to. Leanne, you want to get your hair cut? Oh, please, I can do this. You want to wash because it's so hot out, right? Yeah. Yesterday we put Leon's hair up in a bun. A bun? A man bun. It's been a long time since I had my hair washed because I have been so busy. I've just been washing it at my house. At the restaurant, it's not easy. Self care doesn't come as easy as before. Mom got her hair cut last night. Remember how I had the staff that quit? Well, it turns out Mimi, our front of the house staff, she was living with the other staff who quit. Then she got kicked out of her house because that lady, who I don't want to say her name, didn't want her to work for us. Isn't that so strange? I don't even know why she hates us so much. Oh, she doesn't like Nam, yeah. <laughs> Nam never did anything bad to her. How does it look? Pretty good for $5, a $5 blow dry. Wash and blow dry. We are going to the gym now and I'm gonna bring Leon this time. Well, you, normally I, I bring, I go by myself, but sometimes I'll bring Le Luke. But this will be Leon's first time at the gym. It's hot. Hey, gym partner. Are you gonna be my new gym partner? I just hope they they don't play inappropriate music because sometimes they put that music loud and it's got some bad language in it. No, but then I feel bad because I like I technically. No, I don't it's not my it. job to I'll see bring this. my kids I'll in. See the music's yeah. really bad. <sighs> These people could scare me a little bit. They're so big and muscular and tattooed up. Don't, don't touch the doggy. It's been over a year since I gave birth to Lila and since then I've lost over 60 pounds and I did it through diet and lifestyle change. I made a video about that so if you're interested in watching it I'll have it linked in the description box below. Say hi to Ricardo! Hi. Leon say hi! Say sweaty cup! This is Ricardo my trainer from Italy. Is that how you say it? Italy? Italia. Oh, Italia. And he has been, you've been training me for a couple of years now, actually, but I stopped yes. because I got pregnant. So, what are we doing today? Today, we do some compound exercise. It's going to be a hard to, day then. Yeah, to, to make the things short but intense. Yeah, if you want to train with Ricardo, you can look on, go on his Instagram page and contact him through that. I'll have the link in the description box. He's at Classic Gym in Shawang. Now this looks scary. 
Okay. We don't have to pull you out. But Guys, I already did chin ups. I did a chin up. You can need to do this. You need to do your efforts. Already, that was so hard. I just tried to hold the chin up because my goal before I die is to be able to do one chin up. Do you think I could do that? I've never done a chin up before. I only started working out consistently about three to four months ago since I moved back to Koh Samoy because before we were on the road traveling. Now I work out about four to five times a week with Ricardo and having a personal trainer has really changed everything. I've seen so much muscle development that it's so encouraging. I also know how to use the machines and proper alignment. And most importantly, Ricardo helps keep me on track and be consistent in the gym. Luke is the best water boy ever. Video. It's my van. Take it over. Let's try it on time. You don't have to worry about it too much, really, because that's just a second. I'm really sad. Not really sad. That's being dramatic. But I just feel like I got the wind taken out of me because we had a staff quit today. So now we're down to one besides Nam, but we did nothing for her to quit. So it's just, it was, so at least I shouldn't say that, you know, it wasn't we something that her. You treated her very nice. was my fault. I, I was so nice. I tipped her every day. Yeah, you tipped her I every tipped day. I tipped her good every day too. She was sweet. Maybe she felt, so, who knows, you don't know. She didn't speak English and she didn't speak Thai. So that was really hard. No and the, owning, running the restaurant, owning a restaurant, being in this business, it's like, oh, really hard because there's things that are so many things that are out of your control variables that are out of your control and i can't be there every hour that we are open You've like i every day, that's afternoon and if i'm not there and... watts there one yeah. of us are there yeah. and we got a bad review on on what trip advisor well i can tell you don't worry about it but i do have one thing to say i've eaten hummus in there every single day for two weeks and i've been eating hummus for 40 years I used to have and a I come in every day and try the hummus so to make sure like that the, hummus. What are you gonna do? the food is good. But this I just is feel the like... drama of the restaurant business. It's not easy. Be strong. Go, go forward. It go just sometimes it takes your, the wind out of your it wings. Does. Is that, is that a no, saying? Wind out of your sails. <laughs> wind out of your sails. <laughs> I have when you get a I bad know. review, you're just like, oh, so disappointing because you put your heart and soul into it. And before I would be devastated. I've got. I remember the first bad review I ever got for Coquette, and I was so you devastated. I was crying. You. I can. You never you. had bad reviews when you owned a restaurant. No, because when we owned a restaurant, they didn't have that. But you did have a yearly review, and I, we had a reviewer come in from the local newspaper. She gave me such a good review. <laughs> she gave us a good review, but I dropped a crepe right on her lap. I didn't know she was a reviewer. Wow. It slid off the That's plate. Bad. With plop. 
But I was so upset she didn't even mention it in her review. But you can't worry about that yeah. because, you know, we All have we had that. to do was change our hours. Now we're open at 1 o'clock instead of 12 o'clock because don't have enough staff. we don't have enough staff. I got to tell you something, Luke. Well, and I want your so honest opinion. Leon. Luke, I had some bad news today. Somebody wrote on the internet that our hummus was not good. Is it true? Chaka's getting fired now. <laughs> no, she's right. Then we have nobody to work. No, but is our hummus always good? Yeah. You try it every day, right? Yeah. My kids' choice. You eat that every day with yeah, you? Yeah, Chuck put some something on it. We must put something, like, not good. She must have put something not good? Yes. That would be wild. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna get through this, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll see it to the other end. Last night, I had uh, one Russian family, like a uh, husband, wife, daughter, and they come like many times to my restaurant, like three, four times already, and they say like, they went to many places to try the falafel. They say that for us, the best one. The best falafel, really? Yeah. And they liked our hummus as well? Yeah, and they asked them about, about what about hummus? They say hummus too. They say like the chickpeas, like the, yeah. the love it. The, we had to escape from the restaurant. I shouldn't say escape. That sounds really negative. We had to leave the restaurant because Luke, best friend Ben, it's his birthday and he had his birthday party. He has having his birthday party here at Shiva. It's in the south of Koh Samoy and it is so beautiful. Look at this. Do you like kids' birthday parties as much as I do? I like them when there's a cake, that's for sure. Hey Luke, you having fun? Yeah. My friend's birthday party is my friend Ben. Luke, did you go down that slide? You've never done that before, and I think you're big enough now. How old are you? Let me guess. Thirteen. No. Nine. Yes. That was a pizza, Luke. You want to swim? Or do you want to have a pizza? I think you need to have a slice of pizza, okay? Yeah. Okay, show me. Let's go. Let's go. All Liam cares about is that bouncy slide, but he is too little to go and he's too scared to go on. I took care of you. You helped me, right? Oh, I didn't Look, look who's that? Who's that? You want that super soaker? Yeah? Wait, is it cake for mommy or is that for Leon? Leon? Okay, come on, Leon. Look. We're back at the restaurant. And guess what? Some FC sent us. Like a juice? We're gonna let's try it. Are you thirsty? I'm thirsty. It's a good thing that the staff quit during the slow time and not the busy time. At least that's true, right? Passion for juice, and that's what Lilikoi means, passion fruit in Hawaiian. That's the mulberry juice. We have that in your yard the yard. You know when you that's eat like the fresh one. 
Yeah. yeah. See, you remember when you eat the fresh one? <laughs> Our lettuce, the lettuce man yeah. from the sheep farm. Fresh from the farm. Yes, organic <laughs> lettuce. You need to go to the sheep farm yeah, to get this, this lettuce. When we get flooded from him, like he have like a big farm. Thank you. Bye. 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 Oh my gosh, mom, this is what you can take home with you. Passion fruit juice. It's perfect. Oh my goodness. We can make passion fruit panna cotta. Mother Cereals. You guys need to buy this brand because it's amazing. It's like from Bangkok. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let mommy try it. Yeah. Uh, good. Wow. It's so good. It's so good. It's like passion fruit. But that's mulberry. It's mulberry. It tastes like passion fruit. Mmm. That's good. Try it. Mm. I like this. It's light. It's not too sweet. And this one's passion fruit. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. We can make cocktails with that. I like it. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Chalk is condial. <laughs> not chalk. Are you gonna quit? Yeah. Yeah. No. no chalk. Are you gonna quit? Oh no! <laughs> you promise? Liza <laughs> always wants to grab. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> go to Gigi. Is she gonna go? No. I'm gonna take some. Get passion better to have a chase of the juice. Don't spill it on her. Ooh, she loves it. Today I'm having the Lilikoi salad made by Chalk. Thanks, Chalk. Thank you. <laughs> the Lilikoi salad is like a special Greek salad because it's topped with our homemade hummus. It has pickled red onion, pickled cabbage. It has a mustard caper vinaigrette and it also has a basil oil that we make in house. And I don't use those big giant canned black olives. I use good Niçoise olives. Now you can have the salad topped with chicken, with shrimp, with snapper. The snapper is really good, that's how I like it. What I love about the salad is that you have the saltiness from the feta and from the Niçoise olives, and then you have a really tangy vinaigrette and the tangy red onion, and then you have the creaminess from the hummus. Mm. How are you doing tonight, Watt? How are you doing tonight, Watt? How are you doing, Mr. Luke? What are you eating? Ice. Don't eat ice, it's about for your teeth. You know that? Okay guys, make sure you sign up for Surfshark to protect your online identity. Use my code right down there and that really helps my family. It's help, gonna help you guys too. And come to Lilikoi when you're in Koh Samui. I'll see you in the next one.